Shalom. We're going to hear the Israelites come out week in and week out. Prophesy the downfall of the wicked kingdom of America. We're going to give first, first and foremost, we'll give all praises to the Heavenly Father and Son, Yahweh. Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rabakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the GMS, who do well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. We are here for the elect and elect only of the 12 tribes of Israel. We have two of the so called Negroes, Benjamin of the so called West Indies, Jamaican, Levi of the so called Haitians, Reuben of the Sipino Indians, Gad of the North American Indians, we have Issachar the so called Mexican, Zebulon of Guatemala, the Panama, Manasseh of the Cubans, we have Ephraim of the Puerto Ricans, uh, Simeon of the Dominicans, Asher of the Colombians, Uruguay, Naphtali of the Argentines of the Chile. We are here for the 12 tribes of Israel, man. That's it, man. We come out week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of the Sweet King of Jeremiah 28 and 8. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. And it reads, The prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied both against many kingdoms and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. So evil is the bad times, and those bad times are coming. It said the prophets that have prophesied before. When you read in the scriptures, you have uh, uh, all these names, man. Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, Habakkuk, Haggai. The disciples, everybody has prophesied against the kingdoms, but they were in captivity under. And we're in captivity in America right now. So we're coming out because we ain't close to the end. We're coming out prophesying against this wicked kingdom of America, man. Yeah, yeah. Because America is way past wicked, man. That's right. They, they give laws to homosexuality, man. Uh, unrighteous decrees, man. I was just looking at a, a news feed where a lady named uh, Sarah Lockyer, man, tried to flush her newborn down the toilet, right? In a, uh, uh, what city that was in? Uh, Redwood, California. And she tried to flush her baby down the toilet, uh, and then a girl walked in and saw her. So what they did was they took the baby and got it to the hospital, and, they, and they, the baby survived. They only, they only, she pleaded like a guilty plea, so they only gave her uh, probation and parenting classes, man. <laughs> so you know, I mean, they sent us, they sent us to prison for worse, man, for less, man. You know, this so-called, this is an Edomite, man. They gave her parenting classes, man, for, for, for attempted murder. So you know, this is the Esau's kingdom. So we're going to come out and prophesy against it, man. It's because you have talks of war, uh, of more and more, with, with the uh, uh, striking of the, the oil tanker, then the, the, the shooting down of the drones. So that talk of war is in the air more and more. Go ahead. Done. This is Jeremiah chapter 28, verse 9. The prophet was prophesied of peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known. They ain't gonna be. They gonna know, man. When that word come to pass, when they when you start seeing more of uh, uh, the martial law kick in, when you start seeing that chip being implemented on a mass scale, you people out here, man, y'all walk by constant uh, uh, every weekend and week out in these different cities where these brothers are prophesying at. Y'all gonna know, man. When they march your ass to the concentration camp, then you gonna say, "Damn, them dudes was a prophet." Because the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna bring all those. Uh, uh, he gonna bring the visions back to you. Those thoughts. Yeah, them thoughts gonna come back. It's gonna flash back on you. And you gonna understand that these men were the prophets that came out to warn you of the destruction. That's right. Hey, if I can say this, that's why the Spirit had it where you had Moses, one of the great prophets of the Lord. He prophesied that it would come a time would be a blessing and a curse. Now you brought up that story where she did what to her job? She flushed it down the toilet. That's some, that's some evil demonic shit, but that proves that we're the Israelites. Because we got the curses on us, but the Lord is slowly but surely lifting them off us and putting them on our enemies. That's right. That's right. I got a uh, precept for you. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 56. It says, the tender and delicate woman among you which should not adventure to set her soul of her feet upon the ground for delicatenessness and tenderness. Her eyes shall be evil towards the husband of her bosom and toward her son and toward her daughter. Now that breaks down why a woman are whores. That's the curses. When you read Deuteronomy 28, 15 on down, the Lord said all these curses would come upon us if we didn't keep his law, statutes, and commandments. The number one law is what? Thou shalt not have any other God before me, for the Lord thy power is a jealous power. Right. So that's why you got our people calling out to Allah, Jesus. America is a different, is different idols of different gods. Football is an idol. Basketball, another idol. 
being a celebrity, an idol, being a whore, which the majority of our daughters of our nation are, or the women, that go back to the queen of heaven, aka the goddess of prostitution. So that explains everything. So it says, the woman that was a tender and delicate, right? Our women used to be the soft and most delicate feminists of feminine. Now our women are walking around with tattoos on their, on their, on their arm, talking about hammer time. On the back. On her face. On the back, it looked like an obituary, or no, it looked like a family um, tree. It right. got all these different names, and those are many men that they slept with. Right. They cover it up. Yeah, they, they cover, cover up. up one nigga name with another nigga. Yeah, it's like putting a uh, primer on the old paint in the house and putting up new paint. Right. And they, yeah. It says the <laughs> it says the tender and delicate woman among you, which would not adventure to set her soul of her feet upon the ground because of delicateness and tenderness. Now what are they doing? Fuck you, nigga. Right, right. They'll have they'll be pregnant by one man and still sleep with another man. Then they'll have children by different other men and whoever the man that they with or baby daddy they'll treat that child good and be with another uh, and treat the other children like shit. That's the that's the way of our women. But all these things are prophesied against the Lord against our nation and the Lord prophesied one of the things to clean up this thing is the baptism. Either you're gonna be baptized spiritually, repent and come back to the Lord, or you're gonna be baptized with that nuclear fire. Like the Lord told Nicodemus, you cannot receive the kingdom of heaven, needs to be born again. Second uh, Ezra 5 and 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places, and the fire sent shall be all sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their place. Hey, that's those wildfires. It says confusion in many places, and the fire gonna be all sent out. Over the last couple of years, wildfires have increased, you know? And these are all signs of the time, you know? Uh, and Mistress Woman shall bring forth monsters. So it's like, hey man, yeah, these kids are monsters. Okay? Our people have a couple of talks about surpassing the deeds of the wicked. All they want to do is with this, man. Then they look crazy when all hell breaks. When you watch Force 38, man, all, all you see is that mess. Oh, At the end, the mama, she looking crazy as hell. Had balloons, balloons flying in the sky. How oh, my baby hit this? Nah, y'all wicked as hell. Still you got smoke that baby in order. Still. All right, right, right. Right. It's part of that. It's part of when it says depart. When the scriptures talk about depart, man. Of, of, of Babylon's philosophies. Also, the two thirds about people, man, with that nigga, he's supposed to depart from ass. He's supposed to be around that shit. Okay? John, it says, and, and vicious woman shall bring forth monsters. Like I said, hey, a lot of these uh, the women, they're bringing forth now, but you got a lot of, they're 22, 23, they monsters too. Because look at the shit they're doing. Because the lady that tried to kill her kid, only 21. Right. So they've been bringing forth these monsters what, t since 25 years ago. It ain't just like the ones with them bringing forth right. these two or three year olds. You know, it's been like that, man. Right. You know? Right. It's, hey, shit, I saw a two year old do a Rubik's Cube the other day. They got all the colors. I ain't never been able to do it. Right. So it's like, shit, it's like these ones with 21, 22, they monsters to just as work all the way to 30. You know? I got a precept for you. Go ahead. This is Proverbs 30 and 11. It says, there is a generation that curseth their father and doth not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. That's, that's like them three little niggas that was sitting in the car. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the Whataburger Warriors. You know what I'm saying? Mistress women brought forth those monsters, man. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They disrespecting the Heavenly Father. They disrespecting the Heavenly Father's Son. They disrespecting the prophets. Disrespecting the truth. You know what I'm saying? If I may say, what the elder over here is saying is right on point. The key word to this knowledge and this truth is called respect. All the law, statutes, and commandments, and to love thy neighbor as thyself is respect. When you respect and love thy neighbor, like I can tell you in Romans the 13th chapter, I know the brother grabbed that love working no ill to his neighbor. These little children are brought forth by these mistress. When a woman's on her mistress cycle, what? They even showed you in that movie, I'm gonna get you sucker. She had a period. Ah, I'm right. on my cycle. She's angry. Right. She's vicious. That's the that's the daughters of our women, of our nation. They always got an attitude. Their vaginas stink. They got all kind of STDs. Then they teach. The, then they put those emotions on the men of our children, which destroys 
that. Hey, you, you know, know what? <laughs> That's how you know the law is holy. Right. Because right. in that time period in her life, on her monthly cycle, according to the scriptures, she's not even supposed to be around right. other yeah. people. Right. She's not, she's nowhere near the temple. All right, so she's pretty much off on her own, and there's something going on between. Because that's a spirit. That's a very spiritual, all right, cycle. There's yeah. something spiritual happening there. Yep. We don't fully understand it and know it, but we know through the spirit. Right. If it's happening like that, the Lord made it happen for a reason. It's a cleansing of the earth. Cleansing, right. cleansing of the yeah. earth, basically. Yeah. Like you have a land Sabbath, yeah. where you have pretty much about seven days where women have a basically yeah. Yeah. out of the month. You know? Not to get graphic, you know. Shit, they call us the kings of the earth now, but back then we was really in our power. We really had a third leg, we were shoving in them. They needed a break. <laughs> yeah, they needed a break. Did you look at Romans chapter 10? Oh yeah, cousin, you bring that up real quick. This is, Ro this is Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the feeling of the law. And that knowing the time, that now is the high time to wake out of sleep. But like you're bringing out those three misfits. That is America summed up in a nutshell. No respect, no honor. They don't have no respect for themselves. Look at the children of our nation. Pants hanging off their ass. Got tattoos, all kind of self-mutilation. Piercings, oh, piercings got piercings. They put the big thing on there, the lip hanging out, the earlobes hanging out, tattoos, smoking weed, popping pills. No respect for themselves. No, no. One is the devil because he taught you that you were nobody, and our and our the women of our of our nation help push that agenda. Yeah. They're not telling you that you're somebody. Nigga, do something. Be a job. Be this. Perform to the white man. When you come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, like the Lord said, in Jeremiah the third chapter, return unto me, for I'm married unto you. We supposed to rule the world. That's right. We don't want a good job. We want to conquer the world. That's right. That's right. That's right. You want you want the you want the bakery, the the the, the, the cookies, the donuts, and the employees. That's right. That's, That's right. ruling class mentality. You don't get that from the women from the women of our nation. Right. Because when you read Job 39, 17, the Lord said what? He had the prize of wisdom. The women of our nation. That's actually a woman. 